wrong? You're supposed to shake it. I already did. I spent a good few minutes doing this and this. Okay, it's been shooketh. I've shooketh it. Today on Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't, we are going to Walmart. Yes! Oh my god! Actually, more specifically, Salty Crafter went all the way to Walmart. I think it was a Walmart probably in a forest. That's my guess. And came out with three craft kits I think are pretty exclusive to Walmart itself. Not sponsored, not affiliated. But Salty Crafter definitely looks pretty proud of herself. And just to make things more interesting, she she didn't even give me the craft kits. She ended up leaving them in, in, in the forest also for with a note for me to find them. So yes, I found them near a tree. Don't ask me how these things happen. I don't understand Salty Crafter, but it's a thing. And those craft kits are a DIY geode canvas. It looks really absolutely adorable. It's the idea is I'm guessing an acrylic pour, but with crystals. Next we have a stained glass art craft. I'm a little worried about this one simply because it seems we're going to be using little specks. So I'm getting flashbacks with the Harry Potter pins project that I did. And then lastly, we have a kind of abstract paint scrape painting canvas. Skip, I say skeptically with a high pitch voice. All three kits are from a company called Mindful Makers. And even though the projects do sound interesting, I have to say that they need to work a little bit better on their packaging. But they, I'm, I'm not here to just judge the outside. I'm here to judge what's on the inside, because that's what matters most. Let me know in the comment section below which one do you have the most hope on. Let's let's try to see if we can be a little sweet today. I'm going to say that I have the most hope on the acrylic set, which is the geode canvas. And for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do get a little aggressive with a sharp pointy thing. In a nice way, it's, it's like a hug. Very tense. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. <laughs> and so at $19.97, our first kit is... DIY Geode Canvas. I hope I'm saying it right. And I'm really excited about this for many reasons. Number one, I love acrylic pour and will take every occasion to actually do it. And the aesthetic of having rocks or crystals on there just seems like way more fun. Hang on, why does this say caution? No! Okay, hang on. Let's get you grains closer to this. So apparently this is not acrylic pour, but resin pouring, which brings this kit's value a little higher because resin is pretty expensive. The fact that they're giving us resin in this kit makes it um, more high end because it's shiny, it's pretty. I don't for those of you who don't know resin, it's a part A, part B liquid that you mix together and then it hardens into a kind of glassy type plastic. I've done so many different types of resin projects. As you can see, the most recent one is a colorful egg. If you're interested in seeing that project, I'll leave that video down below. Okay, now I'm extra excited, but it just means that instead of waiting a couple of hours, we're going to have to wait at least a day or 12 hours to make sure that it hardens. And when we turn the box around, yes, yeah, absolutely. We do see part A and part B resin. I really hope it's a one-to-one -one ratio otherwise it's gonna be a little complicated because you know math I say if you have trouble with math I can help you okay thanks nerdy nerd and just by looking at this actual kit it seems like we are getting everything we need but let's take it one step at a time so to see that let's see what we get inside Here's what we get inside. Four pots of acrylic paint in purple, white, pink, and black. Although I think it would be appreciated if they actually labeled their colors, because it's not. Part A and part B for resin. And it seems like it is a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing something to cover our workspace. No, gloves. Popsicle sticks, crystals. We also get our canvas and a pretty extensive instruction sheet. Oh, and also paintbrush. So according to the instructions, what they want us to do is map out where we want different colors on the actual canvas and then do the pour. I guess that's a good idea for someone who's a little worried about where the colors would go. However, resin is also slightly unpredictable because some things might go this way, other things might go that way. And either way, I never listen to anyone's plans, not even my own. Trust me, I've tried, I've made calendars, and I never follow my own advice. I'm like, what, you telling me what to do? Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Shoo, shoo Jack, get out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and start immediately with the pour. So we're not, I'm not gonna use the brush, even though it is a nice brush. Feels very nice. Yeah, I like that. 
So I'm mixing equal parts of part A and part B in my own cups because they didn't give us our own cups. We had to go look and all the ones I had left were styrofoam that were really old, deep inside a closet, kind of massacred, but I figured since they're massacred anyways, might as well give them a use. And in each of those cups, we're going to put a color. Side note, this is extremely yellow. All right, so now that we have everything over here, all we have to do is start pouring and from the front of the box, it looks like a diagonal shape is what's going to give it a little bit more appeal. Let's do the doing. All right, since white is the dominant color, hang on, let's move these things out of where it's going to be messy. There, there you go. Let's go ahead and start with white diagonals and then work our way into darker colors. Okay, so here we go. We really don't have that much resin to work with, so let's try and be a little conservative so that we can come back to it later. Oh, nope, not here. <laughs> And time for pink. We'll put some here and some over there. Oh, 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 very, very aggressive. And maybe a nice thin line over here. I really love the purple because it is a shiny purple. Let's get some good edges. Let's give a lot of purple on this side. See, and it really does depend also on the table. So even if I mapped it out and I'm pretty sure my table is more or less leveled, this stuff is gonna happen. Let's get this edge over here as well. And a nice strip here. And we'll just keep going back and forth with different colors until we get the geode type effect that we want. And I think we're going to go scarcely with black and a little over here. All right, back and forth. Time. It's really just bleeding into each other, even though the bottom parts that I have actually are the paint pots. And now we can put our little rock gems. And I feel like the junction over here just seems like the right spot. So we'll put a couple here, like so. One straight line through. And then down across the middle where there's a lot of the pink. Let's just make it all match. Give it some good texture. And voila. Interestingly enough, the actual rocks melted straight into the actual painting. According to the instructions, this was supposed to be a lot higher. So my guess is that the timing is off. We probably should have put these maybe in about 30 minutes or so, but that's not what they said. Also, I'm generally not a huge fan of silver type glitter like this one. So I'm only gonna put a tiny bit on the edges, not too much, just a little bit like so. So here it is, let us let it sit for, I would say 12 hours, we'll be right back. So here it is before. 24 hours later. And so here is my piece the next day. Is it cute? Yeah, I think so. Is it G-O-D? Nope. It's more like marble, to be honest. However, it is a good introduction to someone who wants to try resin. Big note, you should be wearing protective gear to make sure that you're not inhaling any type of resin and ideally do it outside. There are a lot of things that go on in the background where I do wear protective mask. So make sure that you do follow safety instructions because they don't provide it. So as an entry level type kit, I would say that this would be worth your cash. At $14.97, Stained glass art DIY, also by the same company. However, I am still very skeptical about this, simple because the front of the box shows us granules. Whereas when I first saw it, I thought we would be getting some kind of glass paint. But the fact that we're getting granules, I'm not happy about it. As I mentioned in a previous video, I did a Harry Potter pin kit in which we also had to use granules, shove it into the oven, and it was uneven, and you had to kind of refill those gaps again. And I think the result was kind of meh. So I ended up getting rid of the granules, but keeping the pins. In this case, my guess is that these pieces are big enough that we're going to need a flat surface because the granules are just gonna go through. But let's check the back in case it's not granules. And ah uh, yes, granules. So I really hope that whatever they're giving us is going to be a surface that is going to stick in the back. Otherwise, it's just going to go through. If there's a gap, it's going to leak on the other side. I can see a bajillion problems going on here. But in order to know if we have a bajillion problems, let's start with one, which is seeing what we get inside. Here's what 
we get inside. An absolutely gorgeous array of granule colors, everything from our peachy pinks to our army green, I guess. And you bet your butt I'm gonna be using all of them. We also get geometric shapes in a dem sem semicircle, not quite, a little more than a circle, semi, demi, half, a little more than a half. <laughs> and one with a bunch of triangles, a little bit of everywhere. And lastly, two triangles and a somewhat a lozenge. What is it in English? What's this shape called in English? Excuse my friend. We also get another sheet of instructions. However, interestingly enough, it says that we get gold chains and gold jump rings. Last I checked, this wasn't this wasn't gold. So I think they need to fix their editing. And if they're not checking their editing and spelling, I'm a little worried about what's inside the box. Because if you can't check your editing, which is your instructions, and you can't, you don't even check your materials. <coughs> oh, why did I give myself a scratchy voice? <clears throat> I really shouldn't be doing voices like that. And honestly, the instructions are extremely <laughs> straightforward and really simple. All we have to do is use the granules. I don't know why I keep calling them granules. What do they call them? Melting crystals. And a cookie sheet. Now what I'm really curious about is whether or not we can get more than one color in these spaces because everything is a solid color. What's going to happen if we put two colors? Will they merge? Will they just kind of blend into one color? Will we get a nice gradient? So many questions. No answers. Because they don't ask that question in 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 the instruction sheet is what I was trying to say. Look, I'm so frustrated now. Look what you made me do. These hands only come up when I'm frustrated. <laughs> So in all seriousness, they say to make sure that this side is flat onto the surface. I think that's a, yeah, that's the flat side. There we go. It's not wobbly. There doesn't seem to be many exit holes, so to speak. We're going to put solid colors down, but we're also going to see if we can get some gradients going on. Also, the annoying thing, let's look back at these crystal packs again. You can see that they're giving us two of every color. However, instead of giving me a two of every color, I would rather one pack of a resealable bag, because now once you cut the tip. That's what he's. There's just no way to close it, so I don't appreciate that. No, we don't want you here because you're going in the oven. And the oven has been preheated to 375 Fahrenheit. This much for my Celsius grains, which is most of the world, except for the Amerigrains. And they do clearly say to make sure that there's a, oh no, okay, so I guess it's going here, a mountain of these granules. It can't just be flat. We have to make sure that there's a little bit of a top to make sure that it, when it melts, it covers everything. So I guess something like this. See, there's a little mountain right there. And the other green. Oh my god. Yo, that's that's a problem. Oh sh Okay. At least the Harry Potter one gave us little jars that we can control with. This is just like just put it and it goes everywhere. Everywhere. Alright, I need to find tweezers. And we're gonna have to move some of these things around. Why? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There we go. If I knew I was gonna play Operation. Dang it! <laughs> I want to play an operation. There we go. Approximately 10 hours later. Honestly, for a kit that's supposed to be relaxing, I'm pretty frustrated at this point. I'm just gonna try and pick these up without a tweezer because I am done doing this. So let's just pick up what we can with some tape. Maybe it's a smart idea. Maybe it's not a smart idea. Oh, 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 extras. I'm kind of annoyed because there's no control. And now I have granules all over my desk because it's not resealable bags. I am not pleased with this kit right now. And just to show you, I'm going to go ever so gently, but they just bounce off of each other. I'm going to go like so. Very nice and gentle. We have our little tweezers. Push things around. More. Dang it. There. And at this point, I'm going to give up on anything that falls into another section, except for the ones that fall on the outside. I'll catch these. And in order to best see the types of gradients we can get, I'm going to put colors that really don't match at all so that they really do stand out. So let's go ahead with the yellow again, touching that yellow edge right here. Fill this up nice. And on the opposite side, let's put a hot pink. This is going to be really interesting to see how they work together. Voila. And so as you can see, I completed the entire shape. Shapes. And in some of them, like over here, I added two different colors as well as here and here. So I'm curious if we're going to get a gradient or if it's going to look like 
And then over onto this one, I added three different colors in which two of them are very similar. So let's see if it looks like a nice kind of color change. So I'm going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Yes, that's a long time, but look, it's nice and clean. I made sure most of the edges around it were nice and clear, and most of them have a mound, if not all of them. So there really isn't no excuse for this to not work. But I guess we will see! <laughs> <laughs> and then we shall rain salt and trash upon them. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be nice. Who knows? Much, much, much later. And so here is the finished piece after one hour in the oven. This is what we're getting. They said 20 to 25 minutes, but it's been an hour and it's wasting so much energy. So I think them using granules for glass art painting is absolutely poop. Or at least maybe the quality of the granules are crap. Crystals. Okay, fine. Crystals! I understand. <laughs> But I don't like are all these tiny little gaps, which means if you want it to be full, you're going to have to shove it in the oven for another hour. But I really love the gradients. Look at that. So was it fun? Yeah. Did it take the amount of time it said it would? No. Does it look really pretty? Heck yeah. So I think as long as you don't mind wasting energy and maybe you're going to use the oven anyways, it's cute. Worth your cash. On to the next victim. Not Kit, they're victims now. At only $12.97, we have scrape painting. The name itself is not that, it's not enticing. Like scrape painting. It's like you're clawing away with some acrylic paints in your hand, just scraping things around. I think I, I, I understand what they mean. Basically it's, I believe, with some palette knives or something like that, because I do see a scrapey tool on the box as well. And the end result is actually really cute. The fact that it seems they're giving us some gold foil sheets means that this can be customizable. So once you're done, you can technically draw tiny little Pokemon silhouettes here and there to make it more personalized, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing at some point. Maybe not on camera, but maybe on stream. If you're not following me, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Here's my Twitch. And when we turn the box around, yes, we are getting an entire five by seven foil sheet. We have our little canvas and the paints. So despite the fact that these kits are for adults, there's still quite a bit of room for creativity if you have some things laying around. Otherwise, it really is a guided activity. You know what else is guided? My sharp pointy thing through the tape. Here's what we get inside. A mini canvas. Four colors of acrylic paint. They say that it is really glossy. I guess we'll find out. Some white glue. Gold foil paper. Our scrape tool. Now these are some really bold shapes, which means that our paint technically should be quite thick. And the instructions. One of the things I think they would benefit from greatly is having pictures, not just text because the whole gold foil part kind of confused me, but I guess we'll find out. So the first thing we're going to do is actually put a base coat of the cream color instead of going straight on a white canvas. And of course they didn't give us a paintbrush, even though they did recommend it, they didn't give us any, so I will have to use my own. I know it's not that expensive, but they could have added it since they have it in their other kits too. Right? Right. Oh, that is liquidy. Ew. And what the heck is this? Oh, gross. All right, so as I'm painting, this is the weirdest thing ever. Disclaimer, do not, do not sniff paint. Don't sniff things. I'm a professional idiot, okay? Just don't do it yourselves. I knew it. So as I'm painting, this strong smell of white glue just kind of went up my nose. So I feel like this is not really acrylic paint. You saw how goopy and droopy it is, despite the fact that some of you might be tempted to say, But Jackie, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to shake it. I already did. I spent a good few minutes doing this and this. Okay, it's been shooketh. I've shooketh it. Fit. Enough. The instructions do say to start with our lightest color and make our way upwards to the darkest one. So I guess orange is going to be more of a background type color. Hang on, I got this. <laughs> yeah, still smells like glue. And also, can we take a moment to see that this orange is not the same orange on the box? The other one is a little bit more yellow. This one is a little more brown, not as vibrant. So I'm going to try and mimic the actual one on here because I really do love the design. So we're going to start with a drop of paint somewhere around here, like so. And you can see that it is pretty goopy and droopy. It is nowhere near the textures that they're giving us over here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and use the triangled one, that one. And let's pull it upwards like so. Oh no, what is this grossness? No. What the actual heck? This is gross. This is like some kind of skid mark on underwear or something. That's gross. 
But seriously, that is not the same paint. I mean, this is obviously way more saturated, a lot thicker. We can't scrape with multiple layers. I wasn't even scraping that hard. I was really looking forward to this. All right, I'm gonna try and scrape a lot more gently and let's keep trying with the orange. And the flat end and let's go ahead there we go. So I'm not going to be using any of the, you know, edges because that's just gross. Let's just go ahead and redo this. We don't want that stuff to dry up and look so gross. So there we go. And off we go. Let's be very, very thick with this. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm trying. That's better. Here's my orange. I'm gonna let it sit as they said for about five minutes But since I'm impatient, I'm also going to try and help it with an air hair, hair dryer I really am disappointed we're not getting this blue, but instead this one. No, I really wanted that. Oh well, off we go. So the whole point is to be able to layer. So let's go ahead. Oh, let's try to open it. <laughs> so as I was saying, the whole point is to be able to layer. So let's go ahead, add a little bit over there. And let's try the scrapey thing again with the side, but very gentle, like no scraping. Just pull it up ever so nicely okay wow that is not what i wanted as of now i'm just gonna put a lot more paint they say a drop but a drop is obviously not enough let's go good enough so i went ahead and added all the colors in the different layers they're definitely a lot more vibrant than the box itself but was it relaxing yeah this is technically my first experience with active abstract art so that was interesting now we're going to let it sit for a few hours before we can put our gold foil and the process to put the gold foil is basically glue gold foil and then remove it again only in a few hours much later it's had well over six hours to harden and let's see what it looks like oh oh not as satisfying as i thought it would be okay and here it is and so here is my finished piece. First time doing abstract. Is it cute? Yeah, I think so. Is it worth it? No, let me explain. There was nothing special about these paints. They're so similar to dollar store quality. So what's the point of having a scrape tool if it's absolutely flat? I mean, look at that. Not a single bit of texture. Flat. Just one piece. So if you go to a dollar store, you'll spend probably six, seven dollars getting all of this material and you'll have enough to make more than just one canvas. So despite the fact that this actually did work, not as, not as they promised though. Only if you're stuck, I would say it would be skeptical cash. Because it does do what it's supposed to do. It does do the do it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these three did you actually enjoy and would you buy for yourself? If you want to watch more Walmart, Walmart, Walmart! <laughs> Make sure you check up here and if you want to watch a review or crafty video of hacks, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.